Hi everyone, welcome to the Upcycle Design Lab. If you're new here, my name's Cindy and I craft using recycled and repurposed materials to give you ideas on ways to make and create more economically and ecologically. And if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I've been working on a big project for a trash fashion show. And this is where I've gotten to so far. My first video on this in this series was just kind of talking about where I'm going with uh, several projects to make the whole thing. And then the last video I did was making the top portion. So today I'm going to be finishing off the skirt and the back of the bodice. If you voted in my poll, thank you so much for voting for T-length or mini. And as you can see, the mini dress length one. So like I said, I'm going to get back to the working on this dress and the main portion that I'm going to work on today is finishing off the back. Originally, I wanted to put a zipper in it, but I decided that since I don't have a model yet and I do want it to fit my dress form too, that I'm going to put some eyelets in the back in order to make it a little bit adjustable and then I obviously need to finish the straps as well. Another question I have, if you want to give me a mention in the comments, is the sequins. I was planning to put more sequins on the bottom of the skirt, but maybe just the round ones. And then I feel like the top needs something. I don't like this area here at all. If you saw my last video, you know that I did just finish the top portion. So if you're interested in some more details on that, you can follow this playlist and back up and check out how I made the sequins and put the top together. Today, I'm going to go over the skirt portion. I fused the skirt using a different method than the top. If you saw the last video, you know that I used some fabric on the inside of the top piece, but the skirt didn't need to have the as much strength, I didn't think, and so I wanted to just use the chip bags for that but I did have to use a little higher temperature to get the bags to fuse together. In some places it kind of dulled out the finish. I think that had to do with the chip bag that I used. Some of them kept the shininess better than the other bags. So I wasn't sure exactly how I felt about it, but that's just something I'm gonna have to live with. To fuse the fabric for the skirt, I used layered pieces of chip bag that I'd cut into smaller pieces and parchment paper on top to protect my iron. If you want more details on making the chip bag fabric, you can find a link to that tutorial in the description. I'm using a regular pattern for this project and once the chip bag fabric is fused together it can be cut and sewn pretty much like regular fabric with one exception that the chip bag fabric is very stiff and so the bigger it gets the more difficult it can be to maneuver through the sewing machine. I guess I could make true confessions also and tell you that I've already ripped the skirt piece in the back where I seamed it because it doesn't quite fit on my dress form. I thought I left a big enough opening, but I didn't. So I actually ended up tearing the foil. But with my trusty metal tape, I was able to patch the mistake and we're ready to carry on. For the back panel, I used a leftover piece of my chip bag fabric. And once it was sewn into the garment, I was ready to test out my eyelet tool. I got the eyelet kit for about $10 on Amazon and it was really simple to use, but I did have some difficulty with the die cutter. It didn't cut all the way through my fabric, so I did have to trim the holes with my scissors, but it marked the hole really well and I just had to do a little extra cutting before I put the eyelets in. So here's the back of the dress. I think the eyelets turned out pretty well. It's not exactly the look I was going for, but I'm glad that it'll be a little bit adjustable because like I said, I don't have a model yet, so um, I wanna make sure it fits. And then the back straps, I haven't attached yet either because again, I just wanna kinda of make sure that they're adjustable and I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna finish those off, but this is basically what they will look like. And then the rings are made from the tops of the aluminum cans, so I just thought that was sort of a fun thing to add for a little more interest in the back rather than just having solid straps. That's it for today. Let me know what you think on the sequins. I thought I had an idea that would work on the bottom of the skirt, but it didn't turn out at all. So I could use some inspiration there. And also let me know about the sequins on the top of the dress. If you'd like to follow this playlist, 
click the bottom of your screen now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you back here soon in the lab for my next experiment.